order to win, you have to get the wrong people off the bus to make room for the right ones, right? You, you know the story of the crabs in the bucket. Or that crab, anyone ever felt like that crab? Climbing out, got the little assholes down there pulling you back down, <laughs> right? Clipping at your heels, right? Where do you think you're going? You didn't, you grew up on this side of the street, yeah? Who are you to go there? You should live where you grew up your whole life because that's just who we are. We're our last name. This is just what we do, right? Like the cool part about this is you get to create a new future only if you let go of the past, yeah? You get to decide what your identity is. So a lot of people I see struggling with this, right? They keep trying to get out, but they keep getting pulled back in. Right? Over and over and over. So your environment, the where, who plus, and who minus is very important. So we create these events to help you with the who plus and then to give you to the tools to eliminate the who minus and to inspire you to think about where you want to do your life because that is a choice too. You don't have to stay where you're staying for the reasons you think you have to stay there. You actually don't. You do have a choice, right? And then... Coming back to this, physical health covered, mental programming covered, environment covered, but what's, what's really gonna make this thing go? All the stuff in the middle, the heart of you, right? This identity. Once again, it's not what you know or what you do or making $100,000. It's who do you have to become to hit what you wrote down on your piece of paper. That's what you gotta think about. Who do you have to become to be the person capable of doing that stuff. See, I want a million dollars a month, but like, even if I had the skill set and knowledge to do that right now, I'm not doing it because I haven't become that person to be capable of harnessing that power yet, right? So whatever stage you're at, that identity has to keep on changing, right? At the core of excellence is a fundamental belief about who you are, who you believe you are, right? Who do you believe you are? One of my favorite quotes in the world is, if you don't believe you belong, nobody else will, right? So we gotta fix that shit. You don't get success, you become it. Any conflict between what you want and what would mean to your identity if you were to achieve it must be removed, right? Must be removed. A lot of people want you to change this behavior, clear over here. Change the behavior, get a result. Don't eat the cookie, get a result. Easy, right? Like, of course. But why can't people do it? Why do people lose weight and 95% of them gain it back? Because they can change a behavior, get a good, good result, but at their identity, they're still the fat kid at 10 years old. So what's going to happen? Their little behaviors over time are going to line up with who they think they are, right? And they never know that they get to create it. So what we do at Upgrade X is we try to help you fix this. And the reason why I'm so passionate about it is I actually can't fix the identity. Some people it'll click, right? There's some people that just like, it clicks, but I wasn't that person. I could read a million books, right? I, I left you a book from Dave Meltzer and stuff, and uh, he, that was a gift from him. But I could read a million books, I could watch a million YouTube videos, and it could all make sense, but I could never figure out how to change this. So I would continue to like try to work, and I would even take it one step back, try to unbelieve things that were cemented in my unconscious. I would like, you don't believe that, you don't believe that, consciously, like don't believe that, right? But I did believe. The limitations. So I needed to go here. And here's the crazy thing. When your identity changes and your values change and that, and your belief change, the behavior isn't like the, the stuff that you're thinking about. That's like, you're very aware of. It's a little micro behaviors that change. It's a thing. Like if your unconscious mind is a million times a billion calculations per second, it's the micro stuff that you don't realize that other people notice. 